A very good morning, I beg to my dearest lecturer, Dr. Lo, and my dear friends. So today, I'm here to present about the data strategy and also the key finding of the experiment. So the experiment that I will present later is experiment 3, which is chemical kinetics. So, the objective of this experiment is to determine the rate of constant of hydrolysis of methyl acetate. So, the key finding of this experiment is rate of constant. So, in this experiment, you need to calculate the rate of constant. So, actually, it's very simple. Then, let us proceed to the next page. So, before we conduct an experiment, a table of data analysis is very important. So in the in the data analyze, we need to we need to have time taken, a reading of burette and also the volume of NaOH used. So after we conduct an experiment, then we need to fill up this all the data inside the table. So the the table of the data analyze is used to let us very easy to analyze the data. Uh, after we need, uh, after we done the experiment, we need to do some calculation. So, the based on the question above, it asks us to plot a graph of long v infinite to v t against t. So we need to find the what is v infinite and also v t. So how to find the how to how to find the v infinite? So actually, v infinite is the average of v t used. So is sum of this data and divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, divided by 7 is the V infinite. So we need to plot a long V infinite to VT, right? So after we calculate all the data, so we need to uh, long, long them, okay? We need to long them, long them, so we will come out the data like this. So after we have a long V infinite to VT and time, then we can plot the graph. So actually it's very simple. We just take all the X value and Y axis value inside the Excel, then we then it will come out a graph like this. Okay? So we will get a linear graph like this, then we can directly link to the mathematical equation which is Y equal to mx plus C. Then the M the gradient is the rate of constant. Okay, the gradient is the rate of constant. So how to find the gradient in, in the graph? X, y axis over x axis. Okay, how about the y axis? Y axis is take the point y axis at here, and also y axis at here, then we minus. And also take the x axis at here, and also x axis at here, then we minus. Then we will get a result negative 0 0.00633, which is our gradient. Okay, how for the first of the reaction, m is equal to negative k. Why we say so? Because if we compare two equations uh, above here, y actually is a ln a, which is just now ln v infinite to v t. Okay, so equal to negative k t plus ln a naught. Ln a naught actually is c which is y-intercept. So we will compare this. Time is x axis, right? So automatically, gradient is also the rate of constant. So we can substitute inside. So we will get the rate of hydrolysis is equal to 0 0.00633. Okay? So we already achieved our objective, which is the rate constant. We find out the rate constant of the hydrolysis of methyl acetate is 0 0.00633. So that's all from me. Thank you for your listening. And hopefully my explanation is helpful and understandable. Thank you.